So the next step in our progression here is to connect the line set to the line set that's on the inside unit. So this is the one that's gonna go through the wall and this is the one that's already connected to the inside unit. And the first thing you need to do is you need to take off these black caps. So when this inside unit is shipped or manufactured, there's nitrogen put in there to pressurize it and keep the moisture and dirt out of here. So as you loosen these caps, and these already have already been loosened because we've been playing around with this one, but you'll hear a noise of the nitrogen coming out, but don't be alarmed. That's not refrigerant. It's just a, in effect a packing material. Uh, let it all come out, no problem. And so this is the quarter inch line. This quarter inch line needs to be connected to the, obviously the quarter inch line set. And this is the male flange and the female part here needs to connect perfectly straight to the male for this to work. Okay, and then you're going to hand tighten this flare nut on here. And it should work very easy. If it doesn't, that means that it's cross-threaded and stop, go back, start again, because it needs to be threaded, obviously, lined up. So hand tighten it as far as you possibly can. And then you're going to need two wrenches. One of them can be a torque wrench. Todd, the guy who's filming right now, has done a lot of these, and he uses just two normal wrenches, but his rule is that after hand tightening, wrench tighten one quarter turn. So that's about 45 degrees, okay? And that feels pretty tight. Okay, and then the other one, we're gonna do the same way. Yep, pause. And action. So this is the same way. Tighten it as far as you can by hand. Everything is nice, perfectly perpendicular to each other for the threading to be correct and not cross-threaded. And again, we're going to do, I don't think that we can even get a, after doing it by hand, I don't even think I could get a quarter turn in there, but it's feeling very tight. Don't over tighten it folks, because that will destroy this. Uh, it's only copper and brass here, so it will um, tear it apart, but tighten it snugly and then you're done. 